Hello students and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to teach you the topic of Eilerian and Hamiltonian graphs. So to begin with, let's start with an Eilerian tree. So in my last videos, I have already discussed about the different types of walk. So one of the walk was a trail. So trail was such a walk in which the vertices can repeat but not the edges. Right? So here, we say that a trail in G is called an Eilerian trail if it contains all the edges of the graph G exactly once and it contains all the vertices of G. So that means there is a condition laid on the edges. So you can see that when a graph contains, when you are ca calculating a trail in that graph and it should contain all the edges of that graph exactly once, that means the edges cannot repeat, right? Whereas you can repeat the vertices if you are traveling the edges. So such a trail in the graph is called an Eilerian trail. So let's see this example. So you have a graph which has these four vertices and we need to build an Eilerian trail. So if we go from, I have written an Eilerian trail here. So we go from C to A. So this is the direction C to A. Then we move from A to B. Then we move from B to D, then we move from D to C, and then we go to C to D. Right? Since it's an open one, so it is called a tray. Right? So you can see that C, A, B, D, C, D is a Eilerian tray. Right? Now, next thing. Let's talk about an Eilerian circuit. Now, what is the difference in a trail and a circuit? Trail is open, circuit is always closed, right? So a closed Eilerian trail is also called an Eilerian circuit or an Eilerian cycle, right? Now look at this graph. So if I start from vertex 1, I can go from 1 to 0, then 0 to 3, then 3 to 4, then 4 to 0, then 0 to 2, and then finally 2 to 1. So this is one of the Eilerian circuits. Right. Similarly, you can travel from, you can start your journey from 2. So you can go from 2 to 1, then 1 to 0, then 0 to 3, then 3 to 4, then 4 to 0, and then back to 2. Right. So you will get many Eilerian circuits in this diagram. So you have to keep in mind that all the edges of the graph should come once. And you can travel the vertices any number of times. And when you are talking about an Eilerian circuit, then the initial and the final vertex they need to be. Right? Okay. Now, the next thing. Let's take an, another example. So, this is another graph. So, you can think that in the previous graph, I've just removed the edge 0, 4. Now, in this case, you can see that now this graph does not possess an Eilerian circuit. Because if I start from 2, I can go from 2 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 3, 3 to 4. The edge 0, 2 is left behind. Right? Similarly, if I start from 0, then I can travel 0 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 3, 3 to 4. But it is not an Eilerian circuit because again I have to come back to 0. So it's an open one. Right? So I can see that an Eilerian trail exists, but not an Eilerian circuit, right? Okay. So the next definition is of an Eilerian graph. So any graph which possesses an Eilerian circuit is said to be an Eilerian graph, right? So you, how will you remember the word Eilerian and the word edge? Both start with E, right? So you need to keep in mind that whenever we are talking about an Eilerian graph, we are saying that it should contain an Eilerian circuit. And whenever we are talking about Eilerian circuit, then in that the edges must be traveled exactly once. Right? So there should be a restriction on the edges. Right? Okay. Now you can see two graphs over here. So let's discuss the first one. So in this graph, can you determine any Eilerian circuit in this graph? So you can try this and you will find that there is no Eilerian circuit present in this graph. But however, B 
we can develop an irelian path right so how to develop an irelian path let's start from vertex b you can go from d to e then e to b then b to c then c to a then a to b then b to d then d to c and then finally c to e so we started from vertex d and we terminated at vertex e right similarly in the second diagram you can easily find an eilerian circuit over here so you can start from any vertex you feel like like i started from vertex d so i started from d d to e then e to b then b to c then c to a a to b then b to d then d to c then c to e then e to f and then finally f to d so you can see that we started from vertex d and we came back at vertex d so when the initial and the final vertices are same that is an eilerian circuit now one question must have aroused in your mind that which vertex is it necessary that from every vertex we will get an eilerian circuit or an eilerian path the answer is no whenever you are searching for an eilerian path in that graph you will always find exactly two vertices of odd degree rest all will be even degrees right so whichever vertices of odd degrees you will find exactly two vertices with odd degrees so one of that vertex will serve as the initial vertex and the other vertex will serve as the terminal vertex and whenever you are searching for an eilerian circuit you will find that in all those graphs the degrees of all the vertices are always even so you can start from any vertex you can start from any vertex so if we check the first example here you can see that the degree of vertex a is 2 degree of vertex b is 4 degree of vertex c is 4 degree of vertex b is 3 degree of vertex e is 3 so i told you that you will get exactly two vertices with odd degree so one of them will serve as the initial vertex and the other one will serve as the final vertex right and when we were discussing the eilerian circuit every vertex will have a even degree so you can see that a has degree 2 b has degree 4 e has degree 4 e has degree 4 e has degree 4 f has degree 2 so you can start from any vertex right and you can come back to that vertex because you are calculating an eilerian circuit so you will get many eilerian circuits in this graph right so again i am repeating any graph which has an eilerian circuit will be called as an eilerian graph right so now the two important results that we just discussed in the previous slide so if a graph g has an eilerian path then it must have exactly two odd vertices and second result is if a graph g has an eilerian circuit then all of its vertices must be even right so these two results will help you to search out for an eilerian path or an eilerian circuit in any right So I hope the definition of Eilerian path, Eilerian circuit, and Eilerian graph is clear to everyone. So now let's move on to Hamiltonian path and Hamiltonian graphs. Now, when we talk about Hamiltonian path, Hamiltonian path in a directed or in an undirected graph that visits each vertex exactly once. So when we were talking about Eilerian, we kept the edges exactly once, so there was restriction on the edges. Now, when we are talking about the Hamiltonian path, then we have to cover all the vertices exactly once. You can cover the edges any number of times, right? So now let's see this graph. So you can see that the one which has been marked with a bold red line that is the Hamiltonian path. We need to cover all the vertices. So you can travel from zero to one, one to two, and then two to three. So you can see that all the vertices have been covered, right? Then the second Eilerian path can be zero to one, then one to three, and then finally three to two. 
right and when we talk about hamiltonian circuit then you have to make sure that the initial and the final vertices should be right now which graph is called to be hamiltonian any graph which possesses a hamiltonian circuit is called a hamiltonian right okay so now let us discuss some more results on hamiltonian graph so if a graph has a cut vertex then that graph will never be hamiltonian right so in my last videos i have talked about cut vertex so just to recap cut vertex is any vertex in your graph when it is removed you get to disjoint components of your graph right so if a graph has a cut vertex then that graph will never be hamiltonian next every complete graph with three or more vertices is hamiltonian so do check my videos on complete graphs so any gra complete graph which has three or more vertices then that graph is always hamiltonian similarly in my last video i talked about the complete bipartite graph km comma n so a complete bipartite graph km comma n is hamiltonian m is always equal to n right so if the two subscripts are same m and n then that complete bipartite graph will always be right so it's simple a graph which possesses an eilerian circuit is a eilerian graph so in that we cannot repeat the edges all the edges must be traveled once and when a graph possesses a hamiltonian circuit then that graph is said to be hamiltonian and in hamiltonian we need to cover all the vertices exactly right okay so now let us move on to some more examples now let us see a graph which has an eilerian circuit and it is also the hamiltonian circuit that means the graph possesses the same eilerian circuit and the hamiltonian circuit so look at this graph so for eilerian circuit we need to cover all the edges exactly once so let's start from a a to b b to c c to d d to a so this is an eilerian circuit likewise a to b b to c c to d d to a that is also a hamiltonian circuit you can see all the vertices are exactly covered once only you can relax the initial and the final vertices right okay let's take this next example and let's see a graph which has an eilerian circuit and a hamiltonian circuit but it is distinct so in the last example we discussed a graph which had both the circuits same now they will have different eilerian circuit and hamiltonian circuit right so here you can see that if i talk about an eilerian circuit i can go from a to b then i can come back to b then i can go to b to b then b to c c to d d to a so that is my eilerian circuit because it covers all the edges exactly if i have to talk about an hamiltonian circuit then i can say a to b b to c c to d d to a so you can find that both the circuits are different right now let's come to the next example a graph which has an eilerian circuit but it does not have a hamiltonian circuit so let's look at this graph so to to make an eilerian circuit let's start from vertex a so and you can also check whether if this graph has an eilerian circuit that means every vertex should have a even degree so you can check all the vertices and you will find that all the vertices are having even degree so let's start from vertex a a to b b to d e to e e to f f to d e to c c to b again b to c again and then c to a so you can make many other circuits also in the same graph but does this graph possess a hamiltonian circuit if i go from a to b b to d d to e e to f i cannot come back to d so i so so that i can travel to c because d is already traveled once right so this graph does not possess an hamiltonian circuit and moreover you can also see that d is a cut vertex in this graph right 
If you remove this cut vertex, this vertex D, you will find two disjoint components. Right? So this graph possesses an Eilerian circuit, but it does not possess an Hamiltonian circuit. Right? Okay. So now let's come to the next one. A graph which has Hamiltonian circuit, but not an Eilerian circuit. So let's talk about this graph. So Hamiltonian circuit is simple. You go from A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. That is a Hamiltonian circuit, right? But will this graph possess a Eilerian circuit? You can see that all the vertices are of odd degree. So this graph will never possess an Eilerian circuit, right? Okay. So now let's come to the next one. A graph that has no Hamiltonian circuit and not also an Eilerian circuit. So now, if I talk about the Eilerian circuit, so you can see that the vertices are not even degree. So it will never possess an Eilerian circuit. And if I have to check for a Hamiltonian circuit, then I need to cover all the vertices, right? And since it's a circuit, I have to come back to that same vertex. So if I start from A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H. Now I cannot come back to A because the vertices will start, get repeated, right? So this graph does not possess a Hamiltonian circuit and not even a Hamiltonian circuit, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the next example. So again, you can see some more examples. So in this graph, you can see that it possesses both Eilerian as well as Hamiltonian circuits. Eilerian as well as Hamiltonian are the same circuits. In this graph, you can see that it will possess an Eilerian circuit. All the graphs, all the vertices are of even degree. But it does not possess a Hamiltonian circuit because if you move from this vertex to this vertex, then to this, then to this, then to this, then you have to again come back to this vortex. So this is a cut vortex actually. So this will not be Hamiltonian, right? Now if you look at this graph, this is not Eilerian as the degrees of the vortices are odd, right? But it is Hamiltonian, so it's like this. You go from, go from the corners, this to this, this to this, this to this, and this to this. So this is a Hamiltonian circuit. Now coming to the last one, you can see that the graph is possessing vertices with odd degree. So it will not possess Eilerian, of course. And does it possess a Hamiltonian circuit? Let's start from this vertex. You move from here to here, then move from here to here, move from here to here. Then to travel to this vertex, you need to travel again the first one. So it will not even possess a Hamiltonian. Right? So I hope you have understood the definitions of Eilerian graph and Hamiltonian graph, right? So thank you so much for listening. Believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. And those of you who have not even uh, subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest videos. Thank you so much.